It is the penultimate day of my holiday here in Spain and we are in Malaga today. We took a train from Frangirola to Malaga. It was around 45 minutes and it cost 3 euro and 60 cent one way. Just like every town, city or country that I visit, I download the offline Google Maps and right now we're going to a place that I found. We are going to the Atarazanas Market and this is one of Spain's oldest markets and it has earned a great name. You can find everything that you can see in a supermarket there but it's all in a bizarre setting so that's pretty unique I think. So one thing that I did not conceive beforehand is that this market would be split up in two. One is the seafood section, which is the second part of the market that I just been at. And the first, or the second, is the fruit and veg part. And the fruit and veg is really cheap, like a pineapple kilo is 150, a kilo of strawberries is one euro. It's cheaper than supermarkets and it's like super fresh. They wait for you, everything is perfect done. You have like half of dragon fruit, a lot of selection, really nice nuts and dried fruits. Then I'm not too sure about the seafood section, but there's a lot. Of, the smell was super strong and potent, and there was so much available. So if you're into that, yes, this market is perfect. But we're just kind of tourists and just going through it, so it's fine. Now we're going to our second location on my map. Park de Malaga, which is about a five minute walk from this market. So I'm here about to enter the park on the main street here in Malaga and it's super busy. Like there's cross roads everywhere, there's a zebra crossing for pedestrians, but it's just hectic in my opinion. Um yeah, we're we're crossing the street right now. And thank God for the traffic lights system because oh it'd be crazy I'd be I'd probably run over I could give you so much facts and so much info on this park but basically all you need to know is that it looks really great there's plenty of benches bins there is a lot of vegetation so you have like that nature nice oxygenation and there's tourism information office on the west end so like if you and it's the side you enter on if you're coming from train station Oh, this tourism office is pretty, pretty crappy in my opinion. There is a plethora of different tourism information, but it's all in Spanish, and the ones in English are just pretty much the maps. I'll show you the map where I'm holding in my hand and where we are right now. Can you hold it? Thank you. So, this is a train station right here, I believe. No, this was a train station right here. We walked down here, crossed the river. We went to the market around here. We're at the eye point, tourism information right now. And we're going to go along the promenade, see the ship, see the cruise ship, take a few selfies, and go up this mountain top, see the Roman Museum, and go to the cathedral. Okay, that's my rough plan for today. It's completely objected to change, and probably is going to change a few times, but at least now you know. And if you're ever in Malga for like, let's say, four or five hours, this is definitely the best plan you can take. Unless you go shopping. Cathedral. All, uh, the big park with the Roman theater. The marina, pier, promenade, big eye thing. We're going there. We're so poor. Going. So this I thing, which is basically a Ferris wheel, is 10 euro per adult to enter. And the ride is only about 5 minutes I believe. And sure you'll get nice views, but we're hiking up to the castle and the views will be pretty 
pretty similar, so we're fine with that. We're going to skip on that for now and continue along the port marina area. Oh yeah, since I can have some time, I should get address, get to the addressing of the issue of my hair. Well, yesterday you see, I was recovering from my injury in Rwanda. Or yeah, I nearly died and I couldn't really walk yesterday, so I just stayed in the hotel room. When I sewed a bit, sunbathed a bit, and then went to the shops. I bought some hair dye which kind of lightened my hair. And this isn't the end stage, but when I'm back in Ireland, I'm going to like apply different colors and toners into it to kind of get the shade that I want. But yeah, anyways, now I have yellow hair. So that's all right, I guess. Matches my shoes. I don't know if these are new viewers or you've watched me for quite a while, but I've been in quite a few Spanish cities, countries, and the Canary Islands. Like I've been to Tenerife, Lanzarote, Mallorca, I've been to like Barcelona about three times in Portugal, no, five times in Portugal, yes, five times in Portugal, and uh, quite a few more in Spain. And this city most reminds me of Palma. The Palma, the capital city of Mallorca. And that's largely because of the buildings, it's very similar style. The streets are quite hectic and busy, and the vegetation is palm trees and nice other bushes. You probably are aware, well if you're not you're gonna be aware now, but a lot of ships stop off in Malaga and we're at the terminal right now but there's only two small ships and one of them seems to be a ferry. So first one is there, that's the ferry. And now we have the main cruise ship. It's very small liner. It has like maybe six, seven decks max. Well, actually more like five. But yeah, it's tiny. Malaga is great so far. Okay, the topic. We're still at the cruise terminal, which is along the marine, along the sea. And it's absolutely beautiful. Like I already mentioned the top thing up there. Pretty great stuff. But now like the benches, the seats, they're just sculptures. It's like art over functionality in here and it's absolutely brilliant I like I like it well who would have thought it the hop on hop off bus company see sightseeing is doing boat trips like this is great I've only seen this option in Venice and yeah we're nowhere near there Malaga right beside the port and the marina behind the city sightseeing bus you have these market little huts and what do they sell here local like arts crafts mainly arts and goods like crystals there's a lot of like handmade stuff leather there's also cafes cafeterias and have things like that pretty nice if you're just to have for like 10-15 minutes to waste. Uh, we're on the way to Castillo Gibrafar, we're trying to find the best way there, not sure yet. Right through that park and into a gate. And right here I see a lot of steps. And this doesn't go to the Castillo, but it goes to the other point of interest, which is the... Hold up. The Alcazaba, which is kind of like a fortress that overlooks the town. Pretty cool. Hey, stoy, stoy, stoy. I hate to break to you, but it's going to be a long ass while until we're to the top. But I mind my uh, current condition, but like, sure, it's a track.
We began the day somewhere down there. Went to the market there, walked down the main street, went to the eye, down the marina, to the hop on hop hop bus thing, boat, tree here, right there, and up a load of steps and alleyways. We're at the summit of Castillo Gibrafaro and the views are incredible, you've seen them throughout. To be honest though, the entrance to the castle is 350 per adult, that's what I've been told. And we're not too into that, we're probably going to go to the rooms slightly a bit lower. I'll get out the map, check out what they're called. Alcazaba, which is similar to this, but you also have the Roman theater there and that's far more interesting in my opinion. We're approaching stop four, maybe five, I'm not sure, I've lost count. And this is the gardens I mentioned and it's around the big wall of Gibra Faro Castle. From here we should be able to see the town from a lower angle. It's gonna be great, an entrance here is free. Yes, that's the Roman theater I was talking about. Pretty nice and you can get a nice view of it here for free. Here we have it, the Cathedral of Malaga. Absolutely beautiful building, huge as well. In essence, our trip to Malaga has been brilliant so far and it's reaching an end. It's 20 past one right now and we have covered all the exhibits I picked. So thankfully you can get done like two and a half hours, perfect. It's, oh my God, this Cathedral is huge. These are the entrance costs for the three different categories and the different groups of people. Semana Santa was celebrated hugely here in the past week or so and they're finally bringing all the seeds, the decorations, everything down for next year to come. And yeah, there's a lot of the parks and squares taken up by the decorations but they'll be gone in a few. family went to that pizza place and they got three beers, San Miguel's and a big pizza. The pizza is called a margarita and it was 80 or 60 cent. But, you know, it has cheese in it and I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going back to the market and probably going to buy some pineapple, maybe some mango or strawberries. Shouldn't be too much. Hassle and yeah, I'll be there really quick. Mm -hmm. 